Discretion is advised. You're listening live to Jan and the Jordan with your host, Jordan Adler. Right here on G Man Radio. Oh, yeah, you know what's up. I am Jordan Adler here with you here on J Man Radio, the station where cool things happen. Arizona is number one in the RC Band station, doing it right. And to kick off this show for this week, I have a special guest on the phone. She has won some awards, and she's nominated for three categories in the 2019 GMAN Radio Awards. She has snow, and she has over 10,000 squirrels in her backyard. And she's one of the best rock artists uh, that I know of. So, please tell me welcome to Jimmy Radio for the first time ever and on Jimmy Jordan Radio Show, Miss Sabrina Fella. Woohoo! You said my last name right. <laughs> you know how many times people say my last name wrong or they spell it wrong? Sometimes they spell it like older. They, they usually add stuff to it. Like Atler, like I said, Jordan, like, oh. not Jordan. <laughs> Jordan, Jordan. That was a mistype because everywhere else I spelled it right. I did not notice I spelled it wrong, but that was one little mistype. This the cell phone auto corrects itself a lot, so it's not my fault. Yeah, it does, especially so especially I, if you're I using hate iPhone. It when, it, when it does that, I know I, I use iPhone. But I hate it when it corrects me, when I'm trying to write something else and it thinks I'm writing that. Ugh. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah. But it's good to have you on the show. Thank you so yeah, much for, thank you for having being me. on here. I'm, I've, I've been waiting all day. I've been excited. I've been posting for people to hopefully come in and tune in. I'm, oh, I just love doing interviews and I love being busy. So, yeah. Me too. And uh, I used to be shy as a dog. And since I started doing the radio shows and yeah. I was in lots of drama plays in high school and that really opened me up. And now you can't shut me up and now I'm talking for a living. So there you go. Well, I, I used to be shy too. I would actually wear a hoodie and hide. I, I still do, but I used to do it so much that people were wondering why I'm hiding. I used to be very shy up to college, and then I got a job. You know, I, I worked at like a subway and Mr. Sub to interact with people, and now I, now people are like, why are you talking so much? <laughs> yeah, I, like, I, I used to be so like, quiet. Now it's <laughs> like, I can st- no, no, but it's good, because for this business, I need to be able to communicate. So I've, I've gotten past, but I, I am shy if things happen like, if I have to meet somebody fast, but it's still there, but I'm I'm able to deal with it. That's good. I I I don't always have to feel like I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm I'm able to approach people or do things. So yeah, but oh yeah, being oh, yeah. in this business, being a shy as a kid, people are probably thinking, how the hell does she do it? <laughs> <laughs> No, because yeah. I would never like I I would never like to do like presentations in school, but I would go on stage and sing. There's two different things there. I See, that makes no sense things. at all. <laughs> I hate to talk about things in school, but I I'll go on stage and talk to the crowd. It's a different it's a different side of me. Yeah, that's how my that's how my mom is. She's like she can talk in front of people about me, but is she like? talks about whatever they're talking about she can't do it yeah it's a different uh, uh, situation you're a different place yeah school I didn't I don't like talk I didn't like raising my hand I didn't want people to, to notice me in school but out of school I wanted everybody to know me as an artist I don't know in school there's so much drama and so much popularity thing that I don't want to be a part of it, so I try to be the quiet one. But 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 <laughs> now, if I think back, 
I wish I was more open, but maybe there's a reason. It's good to be the quiet one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. People are having a hard time showing me up these days, so. Yeah. So, uh, if... Yeah, people, people say, why, uh, why, why won't I stop talking? <laughs> I just keep on talking and talking until somebody else says, Sabrina, somebody else has to talk. All right. (laughs) Yeah. If, uh, just let everyone know, we are having some mic problems right now, so if it don't sound like it normally sounds, don't worry. We will be figuring that out. Well, I'll be figuring that out eventually after the show today, figuring out why the heck is the audio sounding like crap the songs shouldn't be sounding like crap just the <laughs> voice so there so just that's the good speaking. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. so well, everyone, well, everyone is here for time. the interview and for the song so yeah as long as, as long as we get through the interview good and as long as it sounds good in the in the recording and that's that's all that matters so yeah that's yeah and I'm sure it's going to sound great. Yeah. Me too. So, yeah, let's 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 get started. It seems like we got to like some personal stuff at at, at the bat. So that's is, that's pretty this, good. It, it, it's not personal. It's just so you know, I was also shy and there's a lot of people who are shy and doing a lot of things in their life that you wouldn't think a shy person would do. Yeah. It, it, sh- it shows that no, no matter how you are, you can always do something in your life. You don't have to say to yourself, oh, oh because I'm, I'm acting that way, I can't succeed in this. No, you can. If you work at it, you can. Yep. Uh, I, I have three of your songs right here, right in front of my face. Mm-hmm. We got uh, Frontline and Kiss is a Killer and One Chance. We're going to play those in just a little bit, but I wanted to get to know you more. So tell us a little bit about you and how you got into this singing stuff. (laughs) Well, um, where do I start? Okay, so I could hum tunes before I could speak when I was a baby. Mm-hmm. So my parents would always say that I was humming. I would hear something and just hum it because I couldn't speak. And then I mm. would start writing short stories and poetry for in, in grade four. So I can't remember the age I was, but around that time. And then I shortly after grabbed the piano, started playing the piano, and then the guitar came along. But I used to write songs before I could play an instrument, so I would consider that poetry or starting to get into it. But then I told myself, if I can write short stories and poetry, I'm sure I can write a song, because it's pretty much something that is summed up right in a song. So um, I don't know, uh, my cousin is very musical, so every time I would see him, he would show me the, the CDs that he got or play song on his guitar and I've been surrounded by family in the, in, in the music um, my friends were not into music so it was just me the odd one out trying to make it in this business and then they're going party and stuff <laughs> huh. I'm not party type I, I'll be sitting at home six hours writing songs and practicing while they're out and I didn't care because I was, I'm trying to build up what I want to do so that's what they wanted to do. But how I, what got me into it, I would say that I guess music just grabbed me. I, I've always liked to listen to music and it made me happy. And then I would always tell myself if, if for example, if Avril Lavigne can do it, I'm sure I can do it. Like, if you love something so much and, and you want to achieve it, you can. Um, you just have to have that drive. And not let the people who are trying to tear you down actually tear you down. Like, I'm not saying nobody teared me down. I've been through my ups and my downs. Like, I've been through a downfall and stuff. 
but I've always been able to get myself back up. It's hard. Yeah. But I have to remember, I have to remember uh, who are the people who are actually supporting me and wanting this from me and not having to look at the negative side. Because one negative comment can bring you so down when from all the positives. It's amazing, huh? One yeah. person can say one mean thing to you. Okay, uh, I didn't want to announce it, but, but I, I got some hate today. I'm not going to say from who, but oh. somebody was mean to me this morning. And it took me quite a bit to, to, to just block that person. I didn't even answer them. I blocked them, and I just said they're jealous, and I'm not going to let them ruin my day. And I, I actually did not react because I'm trying to keep myself. It's okay. I have an interview today. Don't get angry. <laughs> but yeah, I still get it. I still get the little hate. And I, I you know, what I, I, what I don't understand is why they want to listen to my music and still message me with hate when yeah. they're still giving me, when, when they're still giving me the time of day to listen to me. Um... And they're searching me. Maybe so, because they are jealous of you or something like that. Well, from what I've been hearing from people who, who, who get the same, like, the, the same reaction from people, that when somebody is mean writing to you, it's, there's something there that is annoying them. That's yeah. That they're telling you. So, we, we, like, or they're having a bad day. I don't know, but... They always say the haters give give the most attention because they're bragging about you to everyone. Well, so that's a that's a win win thing then. If well, they're bragging well, about you, at, then that's good. Look at Demi Lovato. Like in an interview, somebody was telling her, uh, "How do you deal with all the haters?" She said, "Well, look at me. Look at where I am. Do, do I care?" It's true. Um, yeah. Even even my vocal coach was telling me, can they do what you're doing? Can they get on the stage and, and write a song and go in the studio and sing? So don't let that hate pu push you down because you're actually doing something, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I just had to let this out, but I didn't want to say who it was. But I'm just trying to say... There's that just just mean people out there, cruel people out there, and, and don't let them you know, bring you, uh, don't let them bring you down. You know, actually, uh, when I released my first record, my first EP that has one chance on it uh, on iTunes, and I put it out, I I I, I think um, I think it was on Facebook. Somebody put something bad. Everybody was attacking that person for me. <laughs> I actually told the guys, it's okay, you don't have to start a war, <laughs> but it's amazing how much support that people will actually attack the people who are being mean to you. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. Uh, yeah, some of my supporters did that for me, too, uh, on, yeah, a, um, like on a YouTube some, video. If I somebody being mean to a friend of mine or somebody on my social media, I'll go up to them and be like, that wasn't very nice. Especially if it's I'm, on I'm, like Instagram, I'm, I'm, I have like, like two thousand followers. Uh, but yeah, it's good to have people who who support you because it helps you deal with all this, you know. Yeah. And yeah. look, look, look at you now. You just you're 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 a big star. <laughs> well, getting well, signed to a record now. label and. Winning awards and getting nominated three times in a war show. I know. That's, you know what? that's crazy. I have never been, I have never, like, I've been in, like, um, I've been in, like, a contest for somebody to pick something, but for, like, one little thing, but I've never had this opportunity. Like, I was, like, nominated for three categories. Like, this, this for me, is, is huge. Even, like, even uh, my label congratulated me. Like for them, it's huge. It's huge it for it's, where, it's huge for it everyone. It doesn't matter. You're being nominated. Like pe people are, 
must be enjoying my music if I'm getting nominated. Like, people must be enjoying what I'm putting out, the stories that I'm telling, because this is, I've never had it, I've never been nominated like this. I don't even know what to say. It's like, def- it, you definitely have a head banging like um, experience in your music. Like I had, I had banged to your music all the time. This is, especially <laughs> front the line, especially right? front line. Front line is a head banging <laughs> song. <laughs> Woo! Woo! I, I can I can barely stand myself with, with with that song. That song is amazing. And uh, and uh, who do I remind you of in that song, like vocally? Vocally. Do I uh, remind you of any artist? Um, let's see. That one from... What's that band? I don't know. Like, yeah. do you hear any, like, good, like, Joan Jett or Pat Benatar? Because sometimes people tell me that I, I remind them of a Joan Jett or of a... Pat Benatar or Cranberries. Uh, you, see, I yeah, you like sound they, you sound like... Pat Bantar with, like, Amy Lee. Okay, Amy Lee. Amy I mean, Lee, that's, that's it. it. Amy Lee, you sound like Amy yes. Lee in Frontline. Yes, I've actually been told that twice now, and that's, a, that's actually interesting because when I started taking vocal lessons and I started to sing, like, like more into rock music, I used to sing Evanescence, My Immortal, and I love her. Like, I love that song. So you're probably hearing that because I used to sing Evanescence songs in my basement on my little microphone, jumping around, trying to rock out, learning her song. <laughs> so, yeah, wow. but Evanescence, uh, Amy Lee is very good. Like, her yeah. music is very good. Yeah. I My Immortal is my favorite song by her on the piano and it's Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Like, yeah, I think most of your music that you sent me, you sound like Amy Lee or, or Pat Van Tarp. Mm-hmm. Well, they're both good. <laughs> yeah, and they're both handbanging women, so there you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, where do you see yourself, where, where do you see yourself in 10 years from now? In 10 years? Yeah. Uh... Definitely sell, selling uh, a lot of music worldwide, like selling more records than I am selling now. Hopefully, skyrocket. You know, like I'm. So I want to. I, I I want to be successful. I've always wanted to be known as an artist. And oh, I would love to do a worldwide tour. That'd be cool. Yeah. Opening up for Green Day or Bon Jovi or Billy Idol. Hopefully Green Day first because they're my main main influence. And by the way, this is going to sound random, but I just requested 2,000 light years away on your radio. So <laughs> oh, wow. I saw it on your page. I'm like, that's Green Day. Woo-hoo. Yeah, because we are. I, request, cause, I uh, requested a Green Day song. Because we're because we're now playing um alternative music and they're an alternative band, yeah. so yeah, yeah, I got some notes too. Yeah, so speaking of Green Day, I I requested their song, so if you hear it, you you know who. All right. <laughs> yeah. I uh, actually got when I come around that song's coming up too. Got that coming up later yeah. on in the show. Yeah. So yeah, this just a uh, fair warning. If you hear my dogs barking, I am live in my home studio you right now. So if you hear dogs barking, bark. just 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 some um, ignore it. I am not professional. This is not a professional thing, dog. and you know. I heard your dog, and it was the cutest little bark. <laughs> it, it's so cute. It it wasn't even like a German Shepherd giving you that big huge hello. It's a little bark. It's like I'm st- I'm here. Notice me. <laughs> yeah, they can be yeah. cute if they want to be. You know, they can be very cute. And I may- maybe, but maybe your dog feels that senses that I love. A- I love dogs and cats and all the animals, and it's being nice to me by not barking too much. <laughs> yeah. 
Or mates, or may, maybe mailman's here. Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> Emily, what's the matter, baby? Turn to my job. <laughs> oh no. She heard me say hi. <laughs> oh no. You start it now. You know what? Don't worry. This is awesome. The dog can join in the. Maybe it gives a. Maybe the dog can ask me a question. <laughs> hey, there you go. You never know. Yeah, that'd be a first. Yeah, I know. So yeah, um, so yeah, I guess I guess it gives the uh, it gives the show some character. Yes. Well, yeah, you, sure. well, you can't just lock your dog in a room and cage him forever. If the dog comes in the room, comes in the room, you know. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a dog. You can't just stay, sit there and don't come. Yeah. You know? Yeah. All right. So, let's see. It doesn't, it doesn't bother me. Don't worry about it. Okay. Sounds good. I'm glad. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just hoping that I don't, it, it's not getting annoying for the listeners because I just, that's one thing I don't want to do, be like, but it's okay. The show, the show must go on. Even if dogs are barking. It's okay. <laughs> Emily, it's okay, baby. <laughs> it's okay. Hey, it's okay. You what? You want to be part of the show? I know. Yeah, yeah it'd be. Okay, she's calmer. She's Emily's, calmer now. Emily's corner. Huh? huh? Emily's corner. Yeah. All right. Let's see. <laughs> how many how many albums have you released so far? So I've released two EPs and one single, which is the front line. Cool. And then I recently I should I always forget this because it just happened. I just released a compilation CD with all, all of my songs in it. Because my label wanted to re-release -re everything under their label. Nice. So, um, new music is coming, hopefully sometime, but they just wanted to uh, put it under them. And so is it all, is it all like that. remastered all versions? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And it's all on iTunes, so, yeah. Yeah, that's where most of the artists put their songs at. Either there or uh, CD Baby. I don't do CD Baby. Nah. I don't need a CD Baby. I need an iTunes Apple. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I always been an Apple guy. I got. Well, CD Baby is very popular, but every time I wanted to release something, everybody told me to go to iTunes. So, nobody mentioned to me to do CD Baby. Okay. Yeah, that's that's good. Like, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh! Crazy dogs are barking. We're having a good time. Just yeah, just, just <laughs> don't go worry about it. Eventually, your dog is gonna uh, it's, it's gonna be like sleeping, so don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the dog barking show. Yeah, this is the dog barking show, everybody. This is the dog barking so, segment. If you love dogs, you're hearing it. <laughs> so, Big dogs barking. Who wants to know about my squirrels? <laughs> anyway. Well, at least, at least your squirrels don't bark. Actually, it's very interesting. I've heard the sound of a squirrel, and it they the, their sound gets louder as they're trying to warn the other squirrels about something bad happening and then when the sound is lower it's just their natural little sound. It's not that loud. It's, hmm. it's like a squeaky, it's like a squeaky. I've only heard it a couple of times in my backyard because most of the time they're not using that sound but, but if it's very quiet I can like hear them. I'm like, oh my god, that's their sound. Like if one squirrel is running after another squirrel and then that one has a peanut, then they'll make the, the sound because they're trying to run away, and that's when I hear it. Wow. 
Yeah, it's actually very interesting, the huh. sound. I wonder if they like, they use, they use the same thing when they're like, going to get some food. Well, or if, if like one squirrel world, has a food in. Yeah. It will make a sound. Huh. I've seen I've seen a lot, and I've uh, sometimes I'm even trying to figure out why do they do that. Some some of the stuff that they do, the movements and the time, what, what they do. Because I have so many of them, so <laughs> I like I get I get to know. I can't believe from the first day I started feeding them, like two three years ago, one squirrel loves me so much that it comes to my door for food. Wow. It literally sits there till I go out to feed him. I'm like, oh my god, Blackie's right there waiting. I wonder how long he's been sitting there. <laughs> he literally I'm... just sits there waiting, and then when I go out, he just stands up. He doesn't move away. He just sits there. I open the door, I feed him. I'm like, he's not even scared. And the best thing about him is they, they don't try to come into the house. They don't. Because they know the food is in that area, they cannot enter the house. Plus, I don't put the peanuts close to the house, so they don't smell it to enter. Plus, if a squirrel enters at the house, they get trapped, then they're going to wreck the house, and then it's going to be a problem to get them out. So, I've been, I've been lucky that um, what I've been doing have not gotten a squirrel into the house, so. Wow. Yeah. But, but I, I, I have a screen room outside that, that they come to, so I close the door that goes into the house, and I'm in the screen room. So if they come into the screen room, they can easily get out, but I don't want them to be trapped in the screen room because then they'll be scratching on the screen, and then they'll make a hole. You know so, what we but, call um, that here? We call that a... Um, a uh, Arizona room. Oh, really? That that's cool. Yeah, that's what the screen rooms are called here. Oh, cool. Yeah, if you want, if, if yeah. you want a house, yeah. you want to build. If you if you have a house and you own it and you want to add an on a screen room, just say we want to add like an Arizona screen room, and they'll put it in for you. Yeah, that that's so cool. Yeah. Not sure why it's called that, but yeah. It's okay. But yeah, um, I want to play Frontline because I just yeah. I really want to. I know you do. So, uh, tell us a little bit about this song. Oh, Frontline. Well, it's, it's called the Frontline, not Frontline. But I call it Frontline. Doesn't matter, but it's called the Frontline. Okay, Frontline. Okay. How do I say this? I just said it before in another interview. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Okay, so um, cause I like to explain like how the song came about too. So um, so that song I co-wrote it with a girl named Heather in Vancouver. So we did it over Skype. Wow. And uh, I told her how I wanted to do a rock song, a cool song, a fun song. Uh, a, a, a song that has a meaning of achievement and encouragement to go for your dream and not to give up. So during that time, I was dealing with, with a lot of problems and not getting the support that I've, I wanted from people, friends. I'm not going to mention their names, but friends. Mm -hmm. And um, basically the song is about going to the top, and if you're coming with me or you're not, I'm going because I want to succeed in what I'm doing. So there will be people along the way as you go up doing something you enjoy, you will lose friends. I have a lot of artists say that even when they get to their break, they have lost all their friends. And you know what? I, I, I wonder, I wonder why... That's how you know your true friends because your 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 friends should stick with you, yeah. not not walk away because of your success or, or what you love. But that's how you know. But that song is encouragement, and I didn't want it to be a sad a sad sounding song. I wanted to be an uplifting song to make people go, 
And I, I like that song because it's, it, the lyrics are simple and it's to the point. And, it's, and I think it's catchy and, and danceable. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. And I like to blast it and sing along with it. Oh, yeah, it's my song. <laughs> it is. It's a really good jamming song. I like to, I like to sing along to my own song. If well, I feel like it. That's good. If I feel like it. <laughs> if you like it, then I people should like it, too. So. That's true, but I, I would prefer if, if the people who listen to it like it more because I'm giving it to them, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Exactly. So, let's play that here on Jimmy and Radio, Arizona's new alternative in any station where cool things happen. This is Sabrina Fowler with Frontline, well, the Frontline or Frontline or whatever you want to call it, right here on Jimmy and Radio. And we'll come right back with Sabrina Fowler right after this. That was Sabrina Fala with Frontline here on J-Man Radio, the station where cool things happen. Where have you been all my life? Thank you so much for listening to this show. Thank you so much for listening to this interview with Sabrina Fala. I hope you're having a good day so far, wherever you are doing. Make sure to give us a follow on social media. Uh, Jim, Jim Radio AZ on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And make sure to follow me on social media as well. And join our host. That's join our host on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And make sure to check out the website, which is my JimRadio.com. My JimRadio.com is a place to go. 
And of course, every show is brought to us by Smoking Beaver, Beaver, not Bieber, Beaver, home <laughs> of uh, the awesomest merch in the game. Check out Jimmy Radio merch and all the other merches that merchandise stores offer on SmokingBeaver.com. Uh, let's see. I think that's it for all that important stuff. Also, coming up later on the show, we got. I'm going to announce the nominees for the 2019 Jimmy Awards. That comes up next hour. Going to talk a little bit about that and what you need to know for tomorrow, which is the first day of voting. So, voting starts, well, tonight at 9 p.m. our time, but midnight Eastern. Tomorrow morning will be the first day to vote. So, yeah, it's pretty easy to vote. Now, I'm going to tell you how it is. going to tell you how to vote and what you need to know. All that is coming up next hour. going to tell you all the nominees. There's like four to three different nominees per category. There's like 12 categories I cut I cut some out last night because I want it to be a two hour show when we uh, do the award show but uh, I cut out some categories which which I didn't it didn't like involve the artists or anything I just like I had some categories in there for like favorite movie and like all these other categories that people don't give a crap about, so uh, I just uh, deleted, them, deleted them, and it's looking good so far. So got that coming yeah, up, I'm, and, and you you are you are uh, nominated in three categories. You are in the all-time favorite artist category. You are in the favorite rock indie artist category. We're not really any artist, but yeah, you're still a rock artist, so you're in that category. Yeah. And you are in the Indie Song of the Year for the front line. It is on that in that category too. Yeah. So yeah. Come on guys, front line, front okay. <laughs> yeah, front line, front line. Right, front line. You're going to the front line, right? You're going to the top of the line. Okay, I got it. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm this, ready this to go me, to the this front line. This is my natural self. <laughs> yeah. This is me. This is being you. All, awesome. Being all random. <laughs> wow. And like a month ago, you almost choked to death. <laughs> That's, we almost didn't have you. And now you're here. <laughs> oh yes, I told you about that. <laughs> yeah, you told me about that. Almost choked to death. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was having my burger, and I was laughing because my mom was making me laugh, and then she told me not to laugh, and then I started talking, and I was like, uh, <laughs> I can't breathe, <laughs> and I was like laughing because I couldn't breathe, and. <laughs> and then I'm like, Mom, this is, this is not funny now. I literally cannot breathe. I had to run outside. But I, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> it's not funny, but it's no, funny. No, but the reason I can laugh about it is because I was laughing while it happened, and then I was still laughing while I was choking. Oh, no. <laughs> when, when I choke... Probably I, a doctor would have been like, Sabrina, this is not a laughing matter. <laughs> yeah, it's not. Well, it's not. It's it's normally not a laughing matter. Like, when I choke... I'm not going to get scared choking. I'm more like, it's going to be okay, and it's going to come out, so I'll be fine. Because it just went the wrong way. I wasn't literally dying of oxygen. It just went the wrong way down my throat, that's all. Oh, yeah. It happens. Yeah, it happens to the best of us, <laughs> for real. I almost died. <laughs> Especially happens to the, uh, to the, uh, 
to the uh, uh, artists and famous people. <laughs> all the all the all these celebrities. It happens to everyone. So, yeah, yeah. When when I get choked, I I'm not laughing. I'm like crying and my eyes are watering and I'm like freaking out. That's like when I choke oh. or I go right to my mom. If, if my mom's not around, then I'm like I'm I'm like I'm screwed because like. I drink water, and water sometimes well, rescues me. No, 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 you're not supposed to drink water when, when you're coughing like that. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess I'm, <laughs> I guess I'm going to be dying then, guys. You're supposed to cough and take a, and, and breathe through your nose or something to calm down so it comes out. But I was just laughing so hard because I was just laughing that I was still laughing while I was choking. And actually, that kind of helped. Because somehow laughing and using my diaphragm and then pushing my, my stomach in kind of helped me uh, release what was in my throat. But guys, mm. don't try it at home. I was <laughs> crazy and nuts. And I was so happy that day and I was going crazy. Kids, if you're choking, breathe in, get your parents' help. Don't laugh because it might not end well with you. <laughs> like, seriously, I was really, like, to the point of, like, I, would, I, I don't even know how I, I, I even... <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I even told my dad, did you know I was choking earlier and I was laughing? So, <laughs> he's like, you're not supposed to laugh when you're choking. I'm like, well... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, to drink not, bit, not to drink like, water either, but you know that's me. Random, but during that situation, I was laughing, but I shouldn't have. But it it was okay. Actually, the actually the the worst thing that happened after that was I lost my voice because I coughed so hard to release everything that. It, I, I strained my 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 throat, like you know, like when you get vocal strain, just by yeah. coughing. Because coughing is not good for your vocals. So kids, don't try it at home. Yeah, don't try this at home. Oh my god, I, I'm so crazy today. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> don't uh, don't don't uh, don't laugh while you're choking. You don't drink water yeah. while you're choking. If you're choking, don't eat. Don't, don't be like water. us. We are trained just, professionals. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, just breathe in from your nose and rest, relax. Don't freak out. You're gonna be fine. We, you, you, there are ways. You're, wow. you're gonna be fine. And then if things go worse, we call the emergency. But, but uh, I, I just ran outside to get some air because it was. I don't even know how. The meat went on the uh, the wrong way. It just, it, it it just happens, you know. You never know. From from that day, I didn't touch a burger for a while. Cause it's, it scared, <laughs> like if I could have it a burger you. for a while, it yeah. scared me. I was laughing because of what was going on in the situation. But yes, it did scare me because it it went the wrong way so suddenly. And I didn't know how to react, so I was laughing. So, guys, maybe my laughter was covering up the fear of choking. So, wow. but yes, I laughed at it because I was laughing to the whole thing. Even when it, it released and I could breathe again, I was still laughing. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. You gotta love I, it. You gotta I, love I, life. I, I, I laugh and smile a lot nowadays. So that might be my thing. I like to laugh and smile and be funny. So and now I mean, instead of cool. instead of the dogs barking, you got the shower running right next door. <laughs> so I guess that's better than the dogs barking. Yeah, actually, I don't even hear that. Well, <laughs> that's well, that's good. <laughs> Take that out of your mind. Did not say anything like that. All right. Well, we got Kiss is a Killer, which is 
Yeah, that <laughs> song is really good. Yeah, you won. You won some some contest with that song. Yeah, I won the two. Uh, uh, oh my god! I'm gonna I'm gonna look so bad that I even forgot. Can you just give me a second? It's on my phone. Yeah. God, I I cannot get this wrong. Meanwhile, got, I'll, so, I'll play the uh, so, do 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 do. Yeah, just do do. Oh, here it is. It is no, it's not that one. Anyway, it's, while I'm looking it's, for it's it, it's like a country I, station, right? It was like uh, I won two number ones for the Rock Twenty One. I. Oh yeah. I S R Rock. So here it is. Uh, my socket is a killer. One number one in the ISR Rock 21 countdown on Indie Star Radio, and uh, That's it. I I won I won the first one, and then the second round they told me, hey, why don't you try to do it again and try to keep your spot at number one? Just by a little bit more votes, I I won. Very close to somebody else, they almost were beating me. I won by a few more votes. But, wow. hey, I don't know. Kiss is a killer. Must be a killer. Must be a hit. It's a hit killer. It's a killer hit. I, I uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I thought the front line was a hit. Maybe Kiss Killer is a hit. Like, maybe you have two hey, hits on your shoulders. I, I, I have a lot of catchy songs, but it doesn't mean they're all going to have that hit. You know, like, there's so many songs on, on records, and people say, why wasn't this song the hit, or that song the hit? It's just what caught the public faster than, than, than the other one. It's very hard to have a hit nowadays, because now it's like, number one, hit singles, it's not by record anymore. So, it's like every one of your songs has to be a hit, or has to be close enough to be a hit. It's, industry is changing, man. Industry is changing. Yeah. I remember back in the day when it would be like this number one record. Now it's like this single got so huge that this record became number one. You know, it's the one song that makes the record. Be before it was the record made the record. Yeah. But also now, when I buy a, a record, I don't buy it just because of the single. I buy it because I want to hear the rest of the masterpiece on the record. You know? I, yeah. I don't say... Honestly, I some songs that I like of the artist, it's not even the, the, the single. Hmm. It, it might be a song that didn't get as much exposure, but, but, but to me, I enjoy it. Like, there are so many songs out there that I, I'm like, why didn't that become the hit? For some reason, it didn't, but it, but it became my hit. Hmm. I enjoy it, you know? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, which one do you think is your hit? Like, what song of yours do you think is your hit? You mean from a recent album or in total? Like in in total. Honestly, I think it's Frontline. Hmm. I think when I talk about Frontline or when I see people playing songs on the radio, they're playing Frontline. Yeah. Like the li I have people who played me in the, a few years ago coming back to me saying. I stopped playing Frontline for a while, I'm going to bring it back. Like, people are bringing back Frontline. Like, there's something about Frontline that is, is um, catching. I don't know. I think, it's a, I think it's a danceable beat. But I think Frontline grabs a lot of people, but my, but my other songs are different and diff or have a different feel. And Kiss is a Killer is also... One that, uh, like, like this radio station that I won the award on, is winning. It's, it, it, I, I won it. And another station, I won an award too. I forgot. I don't have the stuff on me. But another station 
play Kiss, Kiss is a Killer, and I want it too. So Kiss is a Killer and Frontline, I think, have been getting me um, plays and awards. And since you you put Frontline in one of my nomination categories, I'm hoping that becomes Song of the Year. So maybe it will. Yeah, let's maybe hope. My front line, maybe my Frontline will, will get something. Maybe. We'll see. I'm just happy to be a part of this uh, contest. It, um, it, uh, it definitely deserves it. Hands down. I think every artist deserves something for their craft. Yeah. In, in any way, either they, it gets heard, it gets released, somebody buys it, somebody listens to it. It doesn't matter. Honestly, as long as uh, it, it, it has attention, it's fine for me. I don't, all I'm, all I'm saying is I don't have to win. You know what I mean? Like, even if I don't win, I'll be fine. Yeah. Because just being a part of this contest already makes me a winner just being chosen to be in it. You know what I mean? So yeah. one, one step in. Guys, come on. Let's, let's win. <laughs> yeah, see? Yeah. Scrap all that. I want to win. Screw that. Screw that. Let's get the front line number one. Yeah. <laughs> Scrap all that. I was lying. <laughs> I want to. <laughs> no, but guys, you know what? You know what I mean, right? Yeah. I'm just I saying. Know. Just as much as, but I'm sure I'm gonna get the vote. But come on, guys, I'm gonna be pushing this voting thing so hard. You're gonna have to vote. Like I, I don't know. I. You can vote as I many just, times as you want. Like I'm going to explain everything about the awards and about the voting all in the, in the next hour so just tune in and you'll find out everything are you gonna write all that all the nominees information in the event too so people can see who they're voting for like it has it has their name and their picture so it just has okay. their name and picture cool so, so, so um, they can see who it is and stuff. So they should be familiar with the artists if they're on, if they're if they're voting. So that's how I that's how I look at it. Oh, so basically, because it's closed now, nobody can see it. So basically, when they go to vote, there's a picture. Yeah. That is so cool. There's uh, so well, so it it'll open up. There's like two uh, sections, so it will open up to like how to vote and all that, and it will show like the the uh, January Awards logo. Then it has like all time favorite artists first, so it has like four pictures and like each side, like one picture on the left, one picture on the right, and on the bottom, it will have pictures for like each category like that until like. Until the end. And can people vote for my three categories all together, or they can only choose yeah. one vote a day? Yeah, they can vote for. I mean, I mean, they can vote as they can vote as many times as they as they want per day. Wow. And and for for per, uh, they can vote for different people each day, or they can vote for the same people every day. As many well, times as they want. Whoever is, whoever is listening, just know I like to post. I like to spread. And you can even vote for yourself too. Like all the artists can vote for themselves. Like it doesn't doesn't matter. The thing about voting, I I, I, I never know who's voting anyway, so it doesn't vote matter. For myself, I don't vote for myself. Hmm. I, I like to let... I like you know, I would. I, I would vote for myself, to be honest. I'd be like... Honestly, I, I like to see if the people are... How many people are actually voting for me. I like to actually see the real vote. Because if, because if you're voting for yourself, you could be... It, it could be you winning because of yourself. Yeah. 
Yeah, also, I'll I want to see how big my, my fan base is too, right? Because yeah, me for too. My in, for, for the other, for, for the radio that I won twice, I didn't vote for myself. So I actually found out that, wow, there are actually people out there really supporting me to the point of voting. So you must be doing something that, right. That, you must be... I know people who vote for themselves and I say, guys, you can vote for yourself, but you'll never know the truth if it's you that did, did it or if the people did it. But I know everybody does it, but I don't, I don't like to do it. Hmm. No, because I want to be truthful to myself. That's good. You know? That's good. We are running a bit, like, time, time is coming to an end, so... Uh, let's uh, let's play Kiss is a Killer. Yeah. Which we already know how this song is and mm. everything. So uh, yeah. tell us a little bit about this song, then we'll play it. Okay, so Kiss is a Killer is uh, about um, when. Okay. Well, when I was writing Kiss the Killer with Bill in Nashville, we were collaborating. He brought the song title to me and said, Here, Sabrina, Kiss is a Killer. And at the beginning, I didn't understand what, what that was. He's like, Come on, the kiss, man, the kiss. I'm like, Oh, right. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then he said, You have to think of the idea because you are the one singing it. You should be feeling it and knowing what you're telling the story, you know, what the story is. So I, I told him, how about like a grease theme with the leather jackets and the, ch the chain on the pants and, the, and the, mo the motorcycle being all cool and the guys being cool and thinking they can get all the girls and then the, the guy gives the best kisses. So that's the theme for the song. And then Kiss is a Killer! Kiss is a Killer. Do you think your kiss is, is a killer? Like, are you, are you a good kisser? Me? Yeah. I've only kissed one guy, so I have no idea. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. but, okay, uh, honestly, I don't know, because I've never had anybody tell me, oh, your kiss is so good. <laughs> <laughs> so I you think, know I if think your kiss is a killer. Of, I think the kiss is a killer theme it's like the kiss is so good that that the girl feels that she got the guy that nobody else can have. Oh uh, yeah, contagious. So, the kiss was contagious. So it's not that that the girl's kiss is good. It has to be the guy's kiss is good. Oh. Uh -huh. The song is basically saying the guy's kiss is good. Now, have I ever had that best kiss yet? No. You're young. Sorry. You're young. All the guys out there. <laughs> Man. They don't know what they're missing. <laughs> <laughs> it's how I look at it. But, yeah. Alright. Well, let's play Kiss is a Killer by Sabrina Fala. Since she doesn't know her kiss is a killer. Well, I do. I think <laughs> I know my kiss is a killer. Because... People say all the time that I'm, I'm that I'm a good kisser, so we'll see. Well, that's good. So that is good. Yeah, <laughs> I I got that going for me. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll play it's Spring and Fall. I kiss is a killer. And then we'll we'll play one chance. Then we'll come back with Spring and Fall after that and mm -hmm. conclude this interview. So. Hope you are enjoying it. Thanks so much for being here with us. And coming up next, we got everything that you need to know about the 2019 Jimmy Radio Awards, which is coming to Facebook Live June 8th at 1 p.m. Mountain Time, 4 p.m. Eastern at facebook.com slash jmanradioaz. And, of course, on our Instagram and YouTube. Going to try to, to get on... Trying to get, trying to get the award show live on Instagram 
and Facebook and on our website all at once. So we'll, I'm, I'm still trying to figure that out. But I'm going to try to make that possible instead of just having it on Facebook. So we'll see. Alright, but most of the viewers, most, most of the fans I got are on Facebook. So we'll see what happens. But yeah. So here Wait, she is. Do we have listeners? Huh? Do we have listeners? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. One, one person probably has probably has us on somewhere in the world. Let's see. Change. Yeah. So that's good. There are some listeners listening, and hopefully more will listen soon. All right, we got Sabrina Fowler right now with Kiss of the Killer, and then we got One Chance right here on Jamie and Radio. The station where cool things happen. You are listening to Arizona Someone in your Arizona Band Station, and we are Arizona's new alternative indie station. So many. Whatever. I, I don't know the word is, but here is Sabrina right now on J-Man Radio.
itching to get knocked down, get up again. I don't want to stay behind these walls. I don't want to wait for him to call me. I just want to take the time it takes to make him know if only I had one chance to take me with you. One more chance to make me feel the way you make me feel. And every day I know that we'll be together. One chance is all I need. And one more chance to make you see you. smile that makes us sad These go by in three more weeks And I'm stuck behind these memories And it's hard for me to just let go To just move on and start again I don't want to stay behind these walls I don't want to wait for him to call me I just want to take the time it takes To make him know if only I had One chance to take me with you One more chance to make me feel The way you make me feel And every day chilled on the coke side of life you ever look up at the stars and wonder how do they pack all that taste into these charbroiled sliders that start for just a buck magic charbroiled sliders starting at just a buck only at carl's jr and hardy's most people these days are online but are you on vine TomatoVine.com is a new phone service that lets you use your broadband connection to let you make and receive phone calls around the world with your existing home or office phone. So with TomatoVine.com, you don't just make phone calls, you save on phone calls. Big time. In fact, you can make unlimited phone calls to the U.S., Canada, and Puerto Rico and pay just $24.95 a month. Sign up now at TomatoVine.com and you'll get a free phone adapter, a long list of free services like voicemail, caller ID, call waiting, three-way calling, and more. And get your first two months of service free. TomatoVine.com saves you 80% on international calls. Pay just three cents a minute to London or Paris and only two cents a minute to Madrid or Tel Aviv. So get on Vine, talk online, and save at TomatoVine.com, your broadband phone company. Get on Vine for just $24.95 a month. Save on all your calls at tomatovine.com. That's tomatovine.com. J-Man Radio is now an all-indie station playing nothing but the best indie music. Thanks for choosing J-Man Radio, Arizona's number one indie artist and band station. You know what's up. We are back live here on General Reality Station where cool things happen. I am here with rock artist Sabrina Fala. She is a recording rock artist, and that is pretty awesome. 
and uh, we're having a good time with this interview going to be concluding it right now we just played one chance and kiss is a killer now tell us a little bit about one chance okay so one chance was a song that i recorded in england london england and in uh, 2011 and i released it in 2012 i co-wrote that song and it's about it's interesting because I haven't talked about this song for so long. So, just going back into my young self when I was going to school, <laughs> college, and then I, I, I like this guy. And it's funny, the guy knows I wrote the song about him, and we're actually good friends. So, But the song is basically about wanting to be with, with this guy and for the guy to give you a chance to go oh. out with him. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, one chance to take me with you. One, oh, mm-hmm. love that oh. song. It's actually my favorite song off of my first EP, the pedal EP. So I'm glad you played it because that was from my first packaged release that I I, I released on iTunes. I packaged it and I sold it at my shows, and and that was the song that it's it's with my Green Day old school influence. So people would say I sound like the younger Green Day in there, the younger sound of Green Day. <laughs> yeah. So. I definitely, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. you can. You can hear a little young mm-hmm. Green Day in there. Yeah, if people listen to Green Day and know how they evolved with their sound, um, you should be able to hear it in there. It, it's in there somewhere. But I'm not trying to be them, but the, the inspiration and the sound and the feel and the attitude I wanted is in there, so. Nice. So, which, which of your um, songs was like your first ever song? Oh, ever, ever recorded, ever released? Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa. Well, if people remember me from the MySpace days, now we're going way oh, back. Oh, man. Um, I used to release, uh, I'll say a couple of songs. I used to release um, Don't Go. That's my first song I ever released on, on MySpace. And then I did uh, You Broke My Heart. <laughs> and then I did This Is It and so forth. But yeah, um, I still talk to people from MySpace and they still remember those songs. Those songs are not on iTunes because back then, I don't even think there was such thing as iTunes. So everything was just on the net and people could hear it and download it. But I haven't re-recorded those songs to release it, but they're so young. Like, not like, I, I don't want to say they're old, but I mean like, like, I was so young when I recorded those songs, I don't think I would ever re-release them. If I ever wanted to choose one of them to re-release, it would be This Is It, because that was when I was starting to listen to Green Day, and that's a very Green Day old school sound. So. Yeah. And I also, could... if, if, you, if, if you hear that song, you're going to be like, she sounds so young. <laughs> <laughs> I probably will. <laughs> If I ever get a chance to hear that song, yeah. Mm -hmm. She sounds so young, oh my gosh. (laughs) Like me, no. Oh yeah, you you don't want to hear the young Jordan Adler on the radio. No, you don't want want to hear when I first started. Oh no. Well, but maybe you do, I don't know. It's like... I was so young, I was so bad, and just starting out, didn't know what, what I was doing. Started out doing a three-minute podcast, and it was screwed, it yeah. was so messed up, it was so bad. And then, 
But it wasn't it wasn't that bad because I was playing like wherever I wanted to play, and then I was like interviewing people too. So it what? wasn't. And but I, I was interviewing like really famous people when I first started. Uh huh. That's how I got my right. the, the, the time, the time I got my name out there. I started like interviewing famous people, like from like a, from a American Idol days and like some artists. Are are you now serious? Like, American Idol is still on. You know that, right? Yeah, but just yeah, it just came back on. Uh, two. It's been it's been it's been, it's been back on two seasons now, but they did stop it for a while. Well, that's cool. So yeah, that's really I good. interviewed yeah, that's, American that's Idol. Really cool. I interviewed some X Factor people. I interviewed uh, some um artists. There are um. Doing like the acting stuff now, like they had, oh, they cool. made that, they made that trans transition to singing to acting. Uh -huh. So now they're doing acting again. Um, oh yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, it's, it's always good to do more than one thing in the business. So always yeah, I even interviewed. I even in, in, uh, I uh, if I if I can talk, I in, I uh, started an uh, interview with. Someone that was singing and acting, all like all in the same thing. Like there's in a movie or like a TV show, singing while acting, which is pretty cool. I think the show is called cool. like Big Fish or something like that. Big something. Oh, okay. I've heard that. Uh, one of the uh um. Let's see. Uh, what's her name? Um, Sh Sheila, Sheila Conqueron was in that show, and I I interviewed her on my podcast before I even before I before I even had the radio show. I I had her oh, on my podcast. Oh, so you had a podcast first. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Well, well I uh, um, I still do, yeah, but I've done interviews on podcasts too. Yeah, I still do. I still do have a podcast, but it's like more like I interview like inspirational people that may impact oh. with their lives. So I do that now. Oh, cool! Yeah, nice. Like my my Very last cool. my last recent one, I interviewed a girl that lost like uh, she was like three hundred pounds, and now she's like a hundred and something pounds. So she had this like, amazing weight loss journey. Yeah. I want to know how she lost that weight. <laughs> she watched like some like, like weight like like weight training videos and some oh, weight yeah. loss videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's she, all about uh, it's all about wh how you're eating, what you're intaking in, and that and how active you are. Pretty yeah. Much. Because I've lost about twelve pounds. And I'm like, wow. It's a lot of like eating healthy and moving and exercising, being positive, going to bed early if you can, not stressing. It, everything can affect even weight loss. So, yeah, she's, uh, but, she's even like um, creating her own like recipe book. She has her own oh, little really? cookbook. That's cool. Yeah, it's amazing. So yeah, that's on my podcast. My podcast is called the the Talkcast. So um, <laughs> yeah, the Talkcast. Nice. So I I will I will send you that link to that podcast. So you can check it out. Yeah, I would love to hear it, and maybe uh, I I have something inspirational to talk about. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That'd be cool. Maybe. That'd be cool if I join on you. Yeah. You can, I, I can, twirl. I can uh, envy you for your, um, for your own, like, weight loss. I feed squirrels peanuts, and I watch their intake <laughs> to make sure they don't get all fluffy and chubby. <laughs> Meat. Oh, did you know squirrels get a thicker coat in the winter that makes them look heavier <laughs> than when they're, than, no, because uh, during winter, I'm like, why are they so big and then in the summer they're so thin it's because they get that warm coat so they're warm outside or else they're gonna freeze their little toes off 
Well, paws Man. off, or, or whatever you call the, the little hand fingers. Paws. I don't know little what paws. you call them. Paw. Yeah, paw. But they're so cute, and I would love to bring them in, but then all ten of them will want to come in, including my two chipmunks. <laughs> and, this, and this raccoon that likes to walk by every once in a while because of the peanuts. <laughs> well, you're like the chipmunk and... A uh, squirrel like I whisperer. Have, I have Alvin and the chipmunk. Whisperer. You're like, you're like a whisperer. You're like a squirrel <laughs> whisperer. Well, maybe. Because when, even in the summer, like when I go and put the peanuts out, they're all sitting outside, like around me, waiting for me to feed them. They don't run away from me. Wow. They, I think they're used to me by now. That's why. Because somebody I talked to back in they the like day you. said, if you want the squirrels to come up to you, you have to be patient and you have to show them that you're not going to harm them. Because a lot of these animals, they're scared too. They don't know yeah. what I'm going to do. Like some people are so rude to the point that they cage these animals and kill them and are harming them. Don't do that. Because it, because it's not nice. It's not nice. Like, it's not nice. It's cruel. Some people are very cruel. Yeah, Like, very if cool. I see a squirrel crossing the street, I slow down my wow. car. Oh, yeah. I've seen so many squirrels that have been hit. It hurts. Because it's like that person didn't have to run over it. Ladies, like, ladies sorry, and gentlemen, guys. meet the squirrel whisperer. I'm sorry, guys. I know if there's a car behind you or a car next to you, but you can put on the brake light. Two seconds, touch it, slow down the car for five seconds, let the squirrel go, and the car behind you won't hit you. You can save the animals, okay? Come on. Do you want it? I, I never see a chipmunk or a bunny hit. It's always the squirrels that get hit by the car. Oh. Guys. The squirrels may may not look when they're crossing, but if you can try, don't 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 hit them because it's it's really sad. I don't like to see. Once I cried when I saw a squirrel that got hit next to my house. I I, I thought it was one of my own squirrels. It, it it wasn't. Thank God. But my God. It was so. I was so sad. I'm like, like this squirrel. How can you sad. tell? How can you tell a difference between like your squirrels because, and other because squirrels? Because I noticed my squirrels were in my yard, all of them. Oh, okay. That must have been <laughs> one squirrel that was just because squirrels stay around the area where the food is. So that squirrel must have just been wandering. I honestly don't know, but as long as it wasn't Blackie, I was happy. Because Blackie was still showing up, and I was really scared. So you, Blackie is completely black. You have named your and squirrels? Blackie, Crunchy, Brownie, Fluffy, um, Grayster, and uh, oh yeah, <laughs> I can go on. Wow. Instead of like the crazy cat lady, you're like the crazy squirrel lady. I am a crazy cat lady. Um... Oh. The cat that I talk about a lot online named Frida lives down my street. I made her a cake for her birthday, but obviously I ate it with her owners. But I got her a catnip toy, and she went so crazy that the owner had to take the catnip away because she was getting too high. <laughs> I guess catnip is like weed for cats. <laughs> oh, dang. No, like the cat was like, oh, my God, oh, my God, what do I do? <laughs> Oh my God, I, think I, I, post, I think I posted that video online, actually. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, but that cat is awesome. <laughs> where where can people find you on social media? They, oh, where they can find me? Well, they can find me at sabrinafala.com. And at the top of my website, there's my YouTube, my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram. If you have Snapchat, I'm Sabrina underscore Fala at Snapchat. I am still on my face, guys. I am on Reverb Nation. It's my my name for all the accounts. 
everything. Very easy to find me. Just Google my name and I come up in the right at the top. Cool. Very easy. Very easy. Nice. Is is there anything else you would like to cover in this interview? Uh, Any shout outs you want to give to people? Well, I would like to say thank you to everybody that has supported me along the way. And now that I finally reached my goal of getting to a record company that I've been working hard to achieve, that I can't wait for you to see what else happens on my journey. Um, there's things happening in the back, can't announce it yet, but I hope you guys see some things coming up soon, hopefully, that I'm doing with my label. And I have a very supportive label, and, um, and they actually love the music that I do which makes it easier for me because I, I really like the support because I used to have people telling me I should be a pop singer, not a rock singer. So I'm happy that the label took me for me and then changed me because of the industry being so pop. They actually like that I'm rock because you, cause I stand out, I guess. Yeah, you do. I'm, I'm just saying in a way that being different makes you... Hurt. Uh, diff it's good. It's always good to be different from what's out there, because people will then see, "Wow, that's different." It's good to be different. I've always wanted to be different. I've never said they're pop. I'm um, pop. No, uh, Green Day inspired me to do rock, and I'm happy that I did it because I'm getting good results from it. But yeah. all I'm trying to say is thank you for all the love and support. And don't forget to start voting for me tomorrow on the awards for my three nominations. I'll be posting it. I will try to stay up late tonight or I'll post it in the morning. And I'm going to be posting and contacting everybody. So keep an eye out on your phone because I will <laughs> pop up. <laughs> And tag your phone, and you have like 10 million notifications from Sabrina Fala posting everything. Yeah. <laughs> yep, this is going to be a, a really awesome after this uh, show. I'm going to work on the banners and get those ready, and then going to. I thought you get... said they were almost done. Well. I haven't really started on them yet. I'm sorry. I, on them I am, I am the worst show. person. Man. Sabrina, wait a minute, Sabrina. Give me some time, Sabrina. You've been saying it since yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> You've been saying it since yesterday. I know. You want to make it perfect. No. Yeah. It's just I'm excited. I'm excited and I want to see it. I'm not trying to be impatient. It's just that I'm excited to see the banner. I'm excited to... To put it up, I'm really excited to start this whole voting thing. This is fun for me. Yeah, this is very fun. I I, I am really excited then, to have the show like start. Like I always love being around the camera. When I'm like around the camera, I get so excited. Like, come on, paparazzi, come take my photo. Like, I don't, I, exactly. I, I don't really care. Yeah, I, I love I it. I want that too. I'm a paparazzi. I, I love don't know it. Why people say they're so bad. The only thing I, I realize is if you don't want paparazzi, don't be mean to them. Yeah. People have told me if I, if I ever get paparazzi, don't be mean. If you're not happy, ignore them and walk. Don't, don't communicate and talk nasty because then they take pictures and write all those negative stuff about you. Yeah. But if you're very nice to you, I mean, if, if they're very nice, no, I, I'm sorry. I mean, if you're nice to them, then they will never have anything negative to say. But I can't. You, I can't come. I can't say that you can always be nice because sometimes I, I see from what I see online with other artists. Sometimes they do approach them too much, and it does get in the way. But I guess you just have to try and just. But I've never had that. So I don't really know how it feels, but by seeing it on YouTube, 
of them uh, running after the famous celebrities, yeah. I, would, I would wonder how stressful it is if they walk out of their house and the first thing that's in front of their door is a camera. Like, or, maybe I might, I might enjoy it for the first couple months and then after I'll be like, wow. Really? Yeah, you that's, get your picture? Like, that's how I feel. <laughs> like, I feel like I'd be the same way. I'll get so, so excited about it for the like, first three or four months and be like, eh, this is getting old now. Like, I, I... Like, like it's, like it's different when a fan or a person comes, or, or anybody else comes up to you and takes a picture. That's different. Yeah, but when you have like, fifty yeah. photographers running at you, it's like... Okay, who wants the picture first? Do not. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I love to sign my, I sign my my uh, my my autograph to people. Like I, I love doing that. I love taking oh, pictures. I love to do that. I do it all the time. No, yeah, I'm, I'm starting to get noticed like in public too. Like my 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 name is getting out there now, so like everyone is like, oh, who is that? Like, well, they already know who I am. Like I went to a doctor one time, and I do um, vlogs on YouTube too. So yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So I uh, I was just at a doctor, um, going outside, and like I hear like this guy like behind me saying, "Hey, that guy is on YouTube. Like I watch him all the time." But they wouldn't like come oh. come say hi to me or take a picture with me or anything like that. They, they just let me do my thing. So I guess I was like out in public. They, they didn't want to like, you know, like um like um uh, like, b- like bother like me. That. But as you get more known, you they they won't do that. They won't yeah. Do that. So so now it I. Where you are. So so now in my like no in my like video description I put, don't be shy. You come say hi to me and. I'll, t- I'll I'll take a selfie with you. Like, don't be shy. Yeah, no. I've been I've been approached in public, and I would have no makeup on. I would not be wearing the clothes that I normally wear. I'll just be wearing some kind of other style of clothes, and they would still recognize me and come up to me. And I, and I would always say, "How did you recognize me when I, I'm wearing nothing like I'm wearing online?" Yeah. I'm like. They're like you. You're very noticeable. I'm like, well, that's not good. I can't hide. <laughs> yeah. Uh, honestly, I'm just I'm joking right now about the hiding thing. I don't want to hide. I don't want to be an artist where it gets so I get so big to the point where I can't even get out of my house. You know what I mean? Like, you have to wear no like disguises. How, no matter how big I get, or I, or I get a little bit bigger, or how whatever happens. I don't want to feel that I have to hide. I don't want to hide. I like going out. I want people to know I'm there, and I'll let the people decide if they're gonna let, let me be or not. Because I don't want to be like those artists that, that say, "Sorry, I'm with my family right now," or "I'm with my like." Or it depends. Like, if I'm with people, I want them to approach me if they want to say hi, and then they can go. I want people to know I'm approachable. It like now if you if you see me and see that she doesn't look very happy right now, approach me. You might make me happier. You know? Yeah. Like I, I can be having a bad day. I go out a random person ask me for a time or ask me for an address to get somewhere. That changes my mood instantly because it gets me off that 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 mind of thinking of that negative thing. So I, like I said, I was shy, and now I love talking to people. I love it, love it, love it, love it. And Me if too. you have a dog or, or a cat or a squirrel of any sort, I will love you even more. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have I have two dogs that don't shut up. Two dogs. Do you have a cat? <laughs> I used to have a cat, yeah. Aww. Named Moses. He was a uh, he was a Siamese cat, black, uh, gray and white. Oh, he's my so mom cute. Used to have a Siamese cat. Yeah. 
He had a little like he had a little like lightning bolt on his uh on his head. Oh. Yeah. He was cute. And he would like he would like shake his tail like left and right. You you tell him to ah. you tell him you tell him left and he'll shake his tail left. And then like right you tell him right and tell him right. Yeah. Smart cat? Cats yeah, are smart, very smart. smart cat. Dogs dogs and cats are very smart. Yeah. Actually all animals are smart. Squirrels are smart too. Very smart. In their own way. They're they're all smart. In their own way, yeah. And let me give you guys some information about squirrels. If you're if you're nice to them, they won't be mean to you. Yeah. Don't be mean to them. Because, you know, the whole thing about the squirrels getting into your attic or the raccoons, if you want to get rid of them, you have to use the right tools to do it. Don't cage them, don't poison them, don't harm them. Because, honestly, that's just cruel. You can get rid of squirrels. They're going to come into your garden and dig up your plants anyway, but don't feed them if you don't want. But you want to know what's funny? I feed them, right? They dig and hide the peanuts in my mom's flower bed. <laughs> so every time my mom goes wow. to put more dirt or to dig something up, she finds the peanuts. <laughs> oh, <here. laughs> Because sometimes they even forget where they hid them, the peanuts. Yeah. Sometimes it's the squirrels don't find them. So guys, be nice to the animal and be nice to each other. In this world... There's so much cruelty, and I I wish people were just so nice. Like you don't know the person who you're talking to. Like you you see them being so nice, and then you talk to them. It's like whoa! I didn't I, I didn't expect that out of that person. Wow. So, I know I I get that quite a bit from some people. I'm like whoa. <laughs> so, wow, guys. Be kind, this be kind to everybody, guys. This yes. <laughs> Be nice, be kind to everyone that you meet, because you 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 never know if they're like in a bad situation at home or in their own personal life. So just be nice to also, them and be there yeah, for you them. You don't know what they go through in their own life, and also if you're in a business that you're trying to succeed in, you don't know if that person knows anybody that can help you too. So be nice to everybody because you never know that person you're mean to might have been that person to help you. And yeah. uh, I've never been mean to anybody, but I do know that they always say, don't be mean to your enemies or don't like try to revenge dumb people because you never know they might be the one to help you in the end. It's weird, but... Weird. It's weird, but sometimes the people you hate to even work with are the ones who are going to help you move forward. It's true, though. It does, it does happen. Yeah. It does. Weird. It does happen. Wow. I, I don't know. This was a random thing I just said, but... Yeah, but... Well, it's... It's, uh, it's, it's good to know. Like, don't harm... Yeah. Don't harm animals. Or, or any kind. Don't be mean to anybody. You don't know if they're suffering with mental health problems or if somebody <laughs> else is suffering it and they're and they're stressed. You don't know. Everybody has their own problems. And uh, if, be a listening ear. Be somebody that somebody can just open up to and you just listen. Just be kind, be nice, and... A lot of things will happen. The nicer you are and the more positiveness you put out, the more positive things will come to you and the more nicer people will be to you. And just so you, you know, the nicest people all always get the, the haters. So you just have to be strong and say they're jealous, they have no life, which they don't, and that's how they make themselves. They actually make themselves more happy by being cruel to other people. They actually have a problem of their own which they need to solve. So don't always take everything at heart because we don't know what they went through. So I got exactly. some hate today. I blocked them. 
I didn't say anything. The person is probably saying, why the hell did she block me? <laughs> well, guess what? He can't say anything to me anymore. Uh. I blocked him. But I, but I blocked him because he was very mean. See, yeah. that's how I am. I block the person like right away because I don't want nothing to do with them anymore. It's yeah. it's blocking, uh it's better that way. You uh, blocking does not mean you're weak or or you can't handle uh, the the argument. Blocking is that I don't have time to waste on you, and you're 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 talking nonsense. So I don't want you on my page. Bye. I don't block people because I can't fight back. I block because there's no need to waste my time and energy to talk to somebody that is just wasting my time, basically. Yeah. I get it. I have talked back a lot to my haters, and it didn't end up very well. So I think blocking is the best thing to do. <laughs> yeah, it is. For real. Well, guys, you have gotten a lot of good stuff in this interview. I hope you yeah, we talked about enjoyed so it. Yeah, we talked about random things. Everything we talked about. Now. Squirrels, we talked about uh, animal harm, we animal prevention. And we talked about being encouraged. the artists. We talked about how to deal with the hate. Yeah, how to deal with the hate. And, and, and we had that do- and we had your dog join in for a, li- a little bit. Yeah, my, and, my uh, dogs joined in. That was fun. Then we had, yeah. we played some of your songs, which was awesome. Yes, and I talked about them. You talked yeah, about and them. I you guys where you can. And another thing, guys, um, please follow me, talk to me, interact. I love meeting new people. You don't have to be afraid. I'm always on my phone. Always on my phone. Always, always. So, yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. More, to more than I want to be, huh. but... That's just part of the whole well, it's job. My business and, and everything is on social media now. Yeah. So. My, my, mom, my, my mom was like, get off that phone. It's like, well, I can't because it's my job. And <laughs> how can you get off it when it's part of your job? I, I'm only off my phone when I'm sleeping. Yeah. But that, I might that's wake up in the middle of the night to check my email. <laughs> yeah. Yep, I did the same thing. Social media, cell phone, internet thing nowadays. Everybody's on their phone, but they say it's not it's not healthy. But if you use it for a good thing for for yourself, for your business, and and you're not overdoing it and doing stuff that are harming you, it's okay. Yeah. Like sometimes I do put my, my my phone aside and say. I'm going to do something else. I'm not going to look at my phone for a couple of minutes. <laughs> for a couple of minutes. <laughs> wow. Like, <laughs> guys, even I like. I to say I might like put it away for a bit, but I, I need my phone. Like, I can't live without it, you know? Yeah, me too. Like, I, I've, had, I've had people say, why can't you live without my phone, makeup, and my, and my guitar, and my music, and... Oh God, the list can go on. <laughs> like, no, no, choose one thing you can't live without. Oh shoot, that that's tough. <laughs> I need a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yep, I'm the same way. Like, I can't live without my phone. I can't live without music. I can't live without um my 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 dog. I can't live without my mom. I can't live without of like. Course. Like all the, well, I probably can live that without my mom. Like, uh, if like like if something happens to her, I, I'll be okay. Like, I, I'll be able to live by myself without my mom. But I, I I'm sure we all can, but it's gonna be hard to cope at the beginning. But, yeah. But they brought us our parents. I would definitely up, be a basket they, case. They can. For uh, real. Don't we all? But yeah, uh, I had a great time being your yeah, DJ. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was fun. You. It was natural. It, it was a natural conversation. We were just being ourselves, being funny, being goofy. 
Yeah. And and I, I like it that way because if it's too serious and too professional, like I'm not saying I, I don't want a professional, but I mean if there's no humor or laughter or, or some kind of easygoing interview, then I feel stressed and nervous and not knowing what to say. But when the things are naturally moving and naturally happening, it's like you don't have to think. You just have to say what you're thinking, so. Yeah. I've never had an interview yet that I'm going, what the hell is going on here? I don't know what to, what to, what to do. <laughs> well, have, good luck with I've that. Had very, <laughs> I'm not saying it won't happen. I'm saying I haven't yet had that interview where I was uncomfortable. It might. You, you never you. know. Thank God. Thank God I haven't had it. Hopefully <laughs> not. Yeah. But you never know. You never know. This, uh, this interview will be on my uh, Miss Cloud profile at MissCloud.com slash D- uh, Jordan Adler host. It used to be D- DJ J-Man, but I don't go by that anymore. I go by, just go by my name, which is Jordan Adler. So my Miss Cloud is MissCloud.com slash Jordan Adler host. It's also going to be on the uh, the uh, radio station's Miss Cloud, which is MissCloud.com slash generio 8z and of course it will be up there uh, within the next three hours or so but I'm going to send Sabrina it first and then it, I will upload it on uh, on social media so mm-hmm. so and you are, I'll be sharing it as well yeah you will be sharing it and um, you're you're lucky because you get you get it you get it first before anyone else. So yeah, Aww. and since I'm uh, gonna be giving it to you, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that too. Uh, since since we're about done the show, I'm going to just talk about the award show while you're still on the air. If if, if, if that's okay with you, I know you have some yeah. stuff you gotta do, but you know. We're, we're, we're having a good time here, and I thought I can get through this. This this been more like a like a podcast than a radio show, so you know I'm I'm having fun with it. I hope you guys are too. So let me just talk about the award show for a little while. Um, where do I begin? Um, well we we did this last year, and it was pretty good um, outing and. It turned out pretty good, except like Facebook didn't like record the whole thing and didn't publish, which I was pissed about. But that's okay. Uh, life goes on in the fast lane. So uh, the the voting form will be only to vote in all the categories, and of course the General Awards is a live streaming show. It premieres live on June eighth. 2019 at 1 p.m. Pacific Time, 4 p.m. Eastern, live on Facebook Live, facebook.com slash AZ. Voting will be closed on June 3rd at midnight Eastern, the day of June 3rd. So once it becomes June 3rd, then voting will be closed. So there's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten categories, and like four or three p- people per category. So the uh, nominees for the award show for all time fair artists we got Sabrina Fala, we got Jane Johnson, we got Andre Callahan, we got Vincent Rutley, and then for our favorite pop indie artists we got Maria DeBolt. Brittany Leo, Brent Morgan, and the late Christina Grimmy. And we got favorite rock indie artist group category. We got Des Rocket, Frank Palangi, Sabrina Fowler, and Weston Simones. For favorite country indie artist category, we got Kaylee Keller, Ashley Wyland, Brandon Maddox, Jennifer Malott. Favorite indie band, we got the Plot Twist, Bears in the Wheels, 
in the butterfly's dream in the cranberry merchants which is that the rich that's those are your those are your friends right the cranberry merchants yeah. they're my they're my friends too and then the indie song of the year can I go we got Sabrina Fala with the front line Maria Debo Inc Lindy Link with Moonlight Dock and then Steffi May for the Dreamers featuring Jay James. For Indie Power Couple, we got Lindy and Zach Nilsson from Zindi. And we got Laura and Kenny Cash from Cheval. Those are indie bands, and they're, that's the Indie Power Couple category. For Best Supporter of J Man Radio, we got Jessica Guan, Jessica G Promotions, and Jacob Lee. And then for favorite upcoming star slash Instagrammer for upcoming star, which is that category is brought to us by Star Media Group. Um, we got any artist, Mama Cleo, Erica Costell, Alexandra Fresquez, and we got Kim Patras in that category. For our favorite Instagrammer, we got Jeff Palm. We got Audrey Music, we got Celeste Kellogg, and we got Ashley Wyland Music. So that's the favorite Instagrammer category, upcoming star, best supporter, indie power couple, indie song of the year, favorite indie band, favorite country indie artist, favorite rock artist, favorite pop artist, and their all-time favorite artists. Now, this all leads up to the biggest award of the night, which is the uh, dedication award. So that that are uh, that award already has a winner. It'll be um announced at the end of that show on the, at the 2019 Jimmy Awards. Someone that's coming in person that's going to be given that award at the award show. So that's pretty awesome. So uh, you can vote as many times as you want per day until June 3rd, 2019. Uh, you can vote for yourself. If you are any artist or or a nominee, you can vote for yourself as many times as you want. You can promote it as many times as, as you want. You can vote for your favorites as many times as you want per day until June 3rd which is awesome so and uh, the link is on the website under awards voting well under the more tab click on the more tab and then go to awards voting it will be in there and all I gotta do is just click on the link it will go right to the voting form and that's it like that's everything you need to know about the awards the Jimmy Awards are going to have uh, performances by Vincent Rutley, Mama Cleo, and Jane Johnson. And it will all be hosted by me, Jordan Ather, and Jane Johnson. So, and um, there's going to be some special uh, appearances by Jane Johnson. Um, we got Mama Cleo and Vincent Rutley, and some more special appearances coming soon. Gonna be announced very soon. So voting starts tomorrow. Um, that that be uh, if you're listening to this live right now, that would be Wednesday, um, April third, twenty nineteen, at uh, midnight Eastern. So in about Six hours from now, voting will be starting. How excited are you, Sabrina? Pardon? Okay, how, like, I, how, I'm, yeah, how no, excited I'm, are you? I am, I am really excited. I'm, like, completely excited. I'm, vote the front line! <laughs> awesome. That was just, that was random. Now, guys, like I said earlier... Vote for whoever you really want, but remember, you're voting for me. <laughs> <laughs>
Wow. Uh, I'm, I'm joking, so guys. Bug. I'm joking. This is a joke. I'm not being serious. <laughs> I'm very, I'm very random, and I like to make people laugh. So don't like take it. everything I say seriously, unless I'm talking about squirrel. Do not harm them. Squirrel. Oh no. That was just a rock. <laughs> Oh, awesome. Well, my voice is almost gone, so it is like... How is your voice almost gone? <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's getting tired of talking a lot, <laughs> so... Well, it, it happens to the all the radio DJs. You can't talk more than like three or four hours. That's why all the radio oh, shows right. are usually like well, four hours like long. Four hours? Well, yeah. It's like singing in the studio for three hours. Your voice is shot. Yeah, uh, I, I know how I know how that is. Yeah, but that did it for yeah. this show. I hope you did enjoy it. Make sure to listen I next love week. It. I loved it, and hope we can do this again. Yeah, when me too. I have when you some win. newer material. When I when I when I win, hopefully, <laughs> or uh, when I have some new. Yes, whoever wins. For any category, should come on the air and talk about how they feel. And also, I hope to do it again with you, this interview, um, when I have some new music to release. Hopefully, a single or a record or something. Hopefully, soon I can come back with some news to say. So, uh, what do you do, like, outside of, like, music? I like to drive, go to the mall, come home, and feed the squirrels. That's about it. <laughs> yeah, okay, that sounds well, good to me. Okay, you want to know more about me? I love to watch, like, Boy Meets World, Big Book on Campus, uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Zoe 101. I like watching the shows that I grew up with. Yeah, me so, too. Same. Yeah. Oh, and if there are any Coronation Street fans, I like that show too. Wow. It's, it, it's a British show. Okay, cool. Awesome. Well, yeah, yeah. I used to like, um, let's see. There was a show called Hollywood Heights. I used to watch that a lot. I used to watch um, House of Nubis. That was a UK show. Uh, let's see. I watched Zoe 101. Uh... Mm -hmm. Trick and Josh. Oh, Zoe, yeah, I, love, I, I grew up with that. Yeah. Like, I was the, I was probably a little bit older than, than the Jamie Lynn series, but I, like, grew up the first day it, it came out, like, I watched it from the first, from the first day it, it appeared. To the end. To the end. Yeah. Yeah, me too. The first day, I, I don't mean appeared, I mean premiered. Sorry, I meant to say premiered, not, not appeared. Premiered. Premiered. My bad. You know, some some words I don't use a lot, so I I have to rem I have to remember my dictionary brain. <laughs> the brain. Wow. I don't like I, I don't like reading books. We've been talking for <laughs> two hours. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> it's awesome. Oh wow! So, you know, I have two friends online and they have been listening to the interview and they are enjoying it awesome well, it's not it's not my longest interview my longest interview was like five hours we had a great okay, time not, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna go that far so yeah no yeah have, not that far i have things to do yeah me too <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can't talk that long today i have the things to do later but uh no, I'm not feeding the squirrels. There's so much snow out there, I feed them once a day and it's in the morning. She has a and date actually, with the squirrels. There is one squirrel every morning sits out there waits for me. And it can be any squirrel. So, it's so cute when they wait for me in the morning. <laughs> you have a little army They're of squirrels waiting for you. They're literally up when I'm up. They're they know. out there before I get out there. <laughs> well, obviously they live out there. <laughs> Yeah, they know when you're up. They, they, they see that light on and say, Hey, she's up! I just she's want up. you to know that I can I can talk for hours, so I'm just letting you know that I can keep on talking. <laughs> hey, me too, but the, the show is over now. <laughs> we have like, we have like know, one minute left, over, so... Guys, so just remember... That, one minute, oh, one minute. So you know, just so you know, quickly, quickly, 
my school videos are going to be slowly coming out more and more because I'm starting to feed them again. So if you see lots of squirrels, I'm sorry if you don't want to see it, but you're going to see it anyway. And you're going to vote for me tomorrow on the... Is, how do you say your station name? Is it J-Man? Yeah, J-Man Radio. J-Man Radio for the award, and you're going to vote for me for my three categories. When you go to the link that I show you tomorrow... It'll explain how to vote, but you can vote for me as many times as you want. And please tell your friends, share, tell your dog to vote, your cat to vote. Vote for them. You get it? <laughs> yeah. You know what's up. All right. This band, Jordan Adler. This band, The Dogs. This band, Sabrina Fila. And this has been General Jordan Indie Radio Show. And I'm Jordan Adler. I'll see you next time. Where you don't know what will happen next. So, to be continued, I love you. For me to you, believe in yourself, and you go far in life. Thanks so much, Sabrina, for being on the show today. Thank, Thank you for, for having me. You are so welcome. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Love you. Kisses. Bye. My dog say bye too. <laughs> That's how they are. So then they're saying bye and all that too. <laughs> oh yeah, you know what's up. Alright. That's just been it. See y'all later. Bye. Peoples.